So let's say you created that perfect video, posted it to YouTube, and then you realize you needed to blur out somebody's face or an object or something that was in your video that you didn't want to be there. Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that with tools built into YouTube without having to remove the video and re-upload it. Let me show you. We're just gonna go from your YouTube studio and into your content tab where it has all of the videos that you have posted. And first you just wanna to go to the video that you wanna change. Let's say it's this latest video that I posted and you can see down here with the little pencil tool, there's details, we're gonna click on that. And then over here on this side panel, you'll see editor. If you click on that, it'll take you into this editing tool here. And then you can see you have a lot of different options here. You can trim or cut something out, you can, remove the audio, end screens, things like that. But what we want here is the blur tool. So we're just gonna hit the plus. And you see you got a couple of different options. You can do face blur or custom blur. In our case, we're gonna do face blur. And what this does is it's going through there and it's detecting the faces in the video that you may wanna blur. Now this works the same with custom blur. You can click on a certain object and it'll analyze it that way. So this will take a few seconds to analyze the video to find faces that it needs to blur. And then once it finishes processing, it'll give you little thumbnails of each of the faces that it automatically detected in the video. And then all you need to do is select the face that you wanna blur and it will apply that to the video. So let's say I just wanna blur my face and then you click apply. And you can see just like that, it has now applied the blur effect to my face. And you can even and you can even preview it here. You can see it's tracking the face, it's moving as I move. And so you can go through and make little adjustments. You can add a little uh, feather to there. You can add additional blurs if you wanna have more faces. If there's other faces, or maybe you wanna blur out the text on your shirt, whatever the case is. And it really does a lot of the work to make those adjustments. You can make this bigger, smaller. And you can see here on the timeline, this gray bar represents all of the blur effects that's been added. And you could obviously add additional blurs if there's more than one face or something else that you wanna blur in the shot. And it really does most of the work for you, which is really handy. Now, this is still just in preview mode. So if we are, if we like this, this is the way we want it, then you just click save. Now, once you click save, it'll take a few minutes to process the video and swap it out for what's existing there. So they say it could take up to 24 hours. I've never had it take that long, but just as, a, as something to be aware of is that the old version of the video will remain live until the new version is ready and then it just seamlessly swaps that out. So up until the changes have taken effect, you'll still have the faces in there. That's just something to be aware of. If you decide you don't wanna do that, like in my case, I don't, obviously don't want a video with my face blurred out, you just click discard changes and then it removes that. And with that, you're now able to blur out faces on YouTube. Hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.